In National 5, we talked about Copyright Designs and Patents Act. We also talked about uh, the Data Protection Act or GDPR. Um, now, these are two laws that are very important in computing. They're probably not as exciting as the Computer Misuse Act. This is the law which uh, protects us from people trying to hack us or misuse a computer. So misusing a computer would be using a computer away from the, uh, the intended purpose. So the content we're going to be learning today is within the computer systems unit of computing science and under security precautions, describe and identify the implications for businesses and individuals of the Computer Misuse Act uh, in relation to unauthorised access to computer material, unauthorised access with intent to commit a further offence and unauthorised modification of programmes or data on a computer. Okay, so the Computer Misuse Act are the laws which were drawn up in order to protect personal data held by organisations or people um, from unauthorised access and modification. Okay, so this law can be broken up into different sections. The first section is section one, unauthorised access to computer material. You are breaking the law if you gain access to computer material without authorization. And this is could be basic hacking, could be guessing someone's password. It could actually be sitting down at someone's computer that is not password protected and gaining access to their material. That is still breaking this law. And it's actually something that many of us have possibly done without even realising that we are actually breaking the law. It could be um, using someone's social media account or uh, email account without their consent. Now, breaking this law could land you um, 6 to 12 months in jail. And if you break this law along with another law, then you could see yourself in jail for many, many months. Just like this person in 2015 in Norwich. There was a teaching assistant who hacked into a school email system um, and used a pupil's account to send an email saying that there was going to be a bomb in the school. This person uh, pled guilty to one count of communicating false information and one count of unauthorised computer access and they ended up with 15 months imprisonment. In 2015 also in, um, in October um, a former Met police detective used police computer systems for 230 searches between 2019 and 2013 for private use. Again this was unauthorised access and this led to this person being imprisoned for nine months. Section 2 is unauthorised access with intent to commit or facilitate commission of further offences. Now this means not only logging in uh, without permission to a computer system, but then intending to commit a further crime. For example, if you penetrated a bank's computer system intending to move £10,000 to another account, you would still be guilty of an offence under Section 2. If you were to uh, hack into somebody's eBay account in order to defraud that customer, again, you would be breaking the law under Section 2. You have the intention to defraud this customer, that is a crime, but you've also gained unauthorised access. In 2015, um, a senior internal auditor at Morrison Supermarket accessed and uploaded uh, confidential personal data of nearly 100,000 employees to newspaper and data sharing websites. This data breach cost the company more than £2 million to rectify and this person was sentenced to eight years. Okay, in section three is unauthorised modification of computer material. Okay, so this is having the intention to impair um, or delete um, any information that is on a computer system. Uh, this uh, offence also covers purposely introducing viruses to people's systems. If you knowingly transmit a virus to others, you are guilty under this section of the Computer Misuse Act. This offence carries a penalty of up to five years um, and or a fine. And the fine can be an unlimited amount, uh, depending on the damage that has been caused. In this example of Section 3, uh, laws being broken, um, there was a re revenge attacks by an ex-director on formal network security company SLR and its client Aviva over five months. 
900 Aviva employees' phones were hacked and SLR Twitter account defaced. SLR lost the Aviva contract um, and this person pleaded guilty to four counts of unauthorised or reckless acts with intent to impair computer operation. Actions had damaged confidence and reputations in a way that can be far-reaching and serious. And this person was sentenced to 18 months. So the penalties under the Act, gaining unauthorised access or trying to, uh, could um, result in a jail sentence of up to 12 months and or um, up to a £5,000 fine. Gaining access with intent to commit further offences, so that was Section 2, that could uh, lead up to up to 10 years and or a fine as well as that jail sentence. And Section 3, causing unauthorised modifications uh, to a computer system can to five years in jail and or an unlimited amount in fine.